Hi, Citizen Chris here again. This video, uh, nine for audio reasons and the rest because of video failure. So we'll see. I'm in my uh, gold. <coughs> That's a good view, isn't it? The, uh, my gold suit. This one is the one I use currently. I know the suits are all going to change, thank goodness. But because of the, if you look at the helmet, if you're using a head tracker like I, tracker IR, uh, track IR, should I say, um, you need a better field of view. So, there we go. Anyway, let's have a quick look in. This is the aero view. It's the one supposed to be, I think, based on Star Wars. And, um, I can't wait for them to expand these hangars. This hangar was so impressive when it was, when, that wall wasn't there, and that wall wasn't there, and these things. Yeah. yeah something, something brilliant. Very impressive hangar, but anyway, this is what it looks like. I've not got anything much going on here. Um, I have three of my smaller ships in here. And this is for Super Map Brothers Ryan. Yes, the 85X is a flyable ship. Okay. Having said that, I haven't seen you... You um, fly Mac, um, good luck. Two seater. There we go. Uh, this is the progenitor of all the new Origin ships. It's very, look at that swish, very swish. And there's a passenger seat where we're talking about possibly having the uh, ability to do something with a turret or something. Although I don't see a turret here. Anyway, um, get out. Oh, 300 series are all supposed to be, uh, at least that's what they said at CitizenCon last year, based on this fundamental design uh, remit here. The 600 I you've seen, very similar. Here is the... Um, 252 Merlin. Um, this comes with the um, Aquila, and uh, I want to get used to saying Aquila because it's been Aquila to me for years. But just more or less named, uh, labelled it in uh, Gamescon in 2017, a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm very honoured to be flying with the Black Diamond Industries and oh look she's um and uh, a few weeks ago with Black Diamond Industries we went into Arena Commander with four of these and we beat it but it took forever I think it's more to do with some of the guys can actually fly compared to me uh, but there is a Gatling gun in there, and it's just a pea shooter. But don't worry about things like that out being out of balance. Uh, welcome to the Alpha. We get to say that we want that changed, and it will be changed. For the moment, uh, it's just not doing anything of use. Here's the uh, Argo. I get this because I have an Idris, if they ever let me fly it, despite the fact I've paid for it. Um, a bit bitter, that, didn't it? Um, this is the personal transport version, as opposed to the Argo Cargo, which most people have seen. Uh, in the PU, you can actually sit in these seats. Very exciting for you. That's a lot of people. That's uh, hold on, one, two, three, four. That's eight people, and of course the pilot. Which for a ship that size is pretty impressive. I hope this is all up and uh, by the time we get free zero. I'll leave it open. I love the sound in this game. It looks like it's shaking itself to death, I gotta say. Be behind us. Right. 
Anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you the overview. I will do a, a slightly long I'm just going to pop into the PU now and uh, show you the car 2L for two reasons. One, because it's well funky. And two, because it's unique in many ways. That dull, low bass. Hopefully, you can hear it. Welcome to the Alpha. Okay. What you should do when this happens is click OK and just go back in. They are determined to make me not do this video. Who they are, I don't know. Probably the probably the lizard people. If at first you don't succeed, give up. Stop making a fool of yourself. I think that was James Ferber. Who had the habit of putting fried eggs in people's pockets, including Nixon. So if he was in a taxi and he, he put he'd put a fried egg in their top pocket and say, I'll, I'll see you're alright, and they were thinking they're getting a bit. Yeah. Oh, he said, you know, you're good for a meal. And they've got a cold fried egg in their pocket. He was famous for it. Now, of course, people have probably sell on eBay. Hmm. I'm in my gold suit, as I said. Let's just look at this. Okay. Of course, I'm completely fit and muscular like this. Not. Um, but these clothes mainly came... Well, they, not mainly. They came from... Uh, Grim Hex, with the possible exception of the shoes. But there we go. More buying options in uh, 3.0. Obviously, there is. Hold on. Trick here is to spam the F key. Oh no, he's got it. I believe he escaped. Oh my god, he went a bit too uh, jump ahead of me. He's trying to steal my ship. There he goes, he's going to go trying to steal my ship now. He'll go right, he won't. Oh, maybe he won't. Oh, he's in a little. Um, well, I call this is rather good actually because um, 
both of these ships are multi geometry. Seem to take up. Oh my goodness, mate. Oh, well, there we are. Either way. Now, the car to well is uh, a, um, a Jeanne uh, ship. Um, it's a distinctly alien looking thing. And it uses uh, magnetism. And these are the people who make the of the Opoa. As you see, this is a, actually an Opoa car to well. Which is basically a humanized version. For the um, the Jean are taller, I believe. Um, they use magnetism, so these steps that come out, I'm going to run back, are floating on magnetic fields. You see that? Like the uh, side panels. Are uh, the Nox. Anyway, I'm going to go to the outside. Oh no, hold on. There's the alien operating system. And it gets overwritten by the. Uh, this is what a poet does. They put a uh, UEE operating system in, or whatever it is. And it looks just like the when what happens when you uh, load up the Vandal, because the, you get the same operating system. Yeah, bless him. Here we just take off, isn't it? Music's a bit loud, isn't it? Rather hoping we'd hear the engines. Some guy ready to complete. Did it? Anyway, if I raise my undercarriage, this is what happens. It's multi geometry. That's not cool. Got four almighty uh, thrusters on here, and just slightly hit the engine. And if I go forwards, and then boost. Now this ship is designed for strafing, so you can strafe left and right, as I'll demonstrate in a minute. But what I really want to show you, oh yeah, love it. Oh, that's a screenshot, isn't it? Although I did put my arm... Anyway, I want to show you the... Uh, the warp is completely unique currently in the game. We, we could apply this to another ship, I don't know. Quantum travel engage. No other warp looks like this currently. Go to the outside view. Isn't that amazing? Tessa to random ship. Come in, random ship. Welcome to the neighborhood. Second class junior cartographer Tessa Ballister reporting in. I'm the eyes behind all the ICC scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. Which, yes, means I can totally see you. Right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I conned. We I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post. Well, technically large scanning and all. So a second. Could you check out these coordinates? The scans are saying something's there, but can't ID it. Well, I've got to say that that is worth a um, screenshot. All right. Anyway, um, thank you for bearing with me on this yet again audio and visual test. Um, I hope I've shown you something interesting. Um, I will do a full video on the uh, air review and hopefully on the car too. Well, too.
Citizen Chris signing off. I hope you have a good one.